So as you can see in the background of this video, you are seeing some campaign footage of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. In this video, I want to give my opinions. I will say if you want to see the full campaign walkthrough without my audio, I'll leave a link down in the description below. I don't want to risk any copyright strikes or anything like that. But in this video, I wanted to give my opinion, my overall impressions. And well, I have to say that although that Infinite Warfare, in my personal opinion, isn't really Call of Duty and the fact that it's a, a modern day or even a past shooter title, it is very futuristic. But I have to give props to Infinity Ward. They've done a phenomenal job with this game. It looks brilliant. It looks like something that I'm going to enjoy to play. And like I said, although that it is not Call of Duty, I have to give big props to them because, well, it took three years to develop this title. And just judging of the gameplay, just judging at the all of the in-depthness that has gone into this game... There is a lot of things to take in, and I have to say that they have done a great job. But in this video, I just wanted to talk about a few things, a few things that I picked up on. One of the things is that, yes, energy weapons and energy grenades and stuff like that will be coming to Infinite Warfare. It's very, very likely it will be going over to multiplayer as well. I did a leak a couple of months ago now stating that the weapons in Infinite Warfare multiplayer are going to be traditional as well as fictional based, which means that, yes, energy weapons will be coming into Infinite Warfare multiplayer. I'm going to have a video on that later on in a couple of days' time talking about more leaks to do with Infinite Warfare multiplayer, so hopefully you guys will be up, staying up to date with all of the information I'm going to provide for you guys. As well as this, something small that I did pick up on as well is that it would appear that there is some kind of shield within the game that definitely resembles a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare shield feeling. And I've got a sneaky suspicion that possibly Exo abilities or something very similar could be coming to Infinite Warfare multiplayer. And I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this. I feel that Exo abilities in Advanced Warfare was pretty pointless. Maybe they're going to do something a little bit different Maybe it's going to be some kind of perk or some kind of attachment or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but there was definitely a key focal point in this gameplay focusing on that right shield or whatever it was, that uh, shield that pops up from his arm just like it does in Advanced Warfare. And I definitely think that that is going to be in multiplayer as well. Hopefully it isn't, but like I said, I did do a leak a couple of months ago stating that there is going to be a lot of multiplayer weapons, a lot of fictional multiplayer weapons, which will be any energy based and well it seems like that leak was completely true because I talked about how we was going to go to different planets in the solar system, how things such as uh, boost jumping was in the game and stuff like that and it would seem like this is a fairly accurate leak and I'm going to get some more information from that source at a later date so definitely subscribe if you haven't already as I'll be keeping you to up to date with the latest Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. By the way, doesn't Modern Warfare Remastered look phenomenal? I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. You guys can check out the gameplay. Holy crap, they've done a brilliant job of remastering that game. Definitely can't wait to get a multiplayer as well. This November is going to be a very good time for gamers. Battlefield 1, Titanfall 2. We've also got Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. And I've got a sneaky suspicion that quite a lot of us are going to be busy around that time of year. So I guess that is a pretty good thing. But moving on to Infinite Warfare one final time, I just want to quickly say that... Although that, yes, the Infinite Warfare trailer did get a lot of hits originally, I do think that moving forward, it's still going to get quite a bit of hits because that is just the mindset of the community at the moment. A lot of the people will still buy the game, of course. It's still going to be the best-selling FPS game. But I just want to give them a chance. I can't wait to see all of the press conferences that Infinity Ward and Activision are going to release. Of course, we've got multiplayer being announced at Call of Duty XP in September, the beginning of September. So quite a ways away yet, but we can definitely expect more information to come over the course of the next couple of months. As of yet, we've not actually had any official word from Infinity Ward or Activision about the game, really, if you think about it. So there's quite a lot of things still in the dark. How's the uh, you know campaign going to work? How are we going to be able to play with friends, for example, in campaign? How's multiplayer going to work? Is a lot of the things going to transition over? Usually a lot of the things from campaign don't go to multiplayer 
so maybe we could see that with Infinite Warfare, we'll just have to wait and see, but I'm running out of things to say in this video, I'm not going to drag it on any longer, you've seen the gameplay in the background, very exciting indeed, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think, do you think that they've done a good job, do you think that Infinite Ward have put a little bit of faith back into you about Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Of course, Modern Warfare Remastered was not where the hate was coming from, it was Infinite Warfare, but just let me know that's down in the comment section below, I'd be definitely intrigued to find out. But anyway guys, I'm going to leave the video as that, don't forget to like if you haven't already, and of course subscribe as I'll be keeping you up to date with the latest Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered news and information. But anyway guys, that is pretty much it from me, I've been Long Sensation, thank you very much for watching, and I'll See you guys in the next video.